Hi, Carl Gould here. And we talk about our hands. And you really can't talk about your hands without talking about your feet and legs. Um, I like to keep my hands wider, lower, but alive. I, I don't like any dead spots in there, so I want to keep them live so that it's not a tug of war between me and the horse. And so every time that I'm doing something with this, I'm doing something with my legs also. So you, you get into a, a rhythm of, of hands and feet, hands and feet, and one is useless without the other. Uh, so it's just like framing one up, it's just like collecting one, it's just like working a cow, everything is hands and feet. And so in order to keep a horse soft and supple and nice, you have to have your hands where they are soft and so very nice, pleasant on, on a horse. It's not that you can't bump them. It's not that you can't bump them and say, hey, come here to me, but you give it right back. And then the next time you just very nice. So don't, it, you don't want to be jerking on it, but you, you don't want them dead hands either. So I'm going to pull her around. I'm just going to check her, check her both sides so that it becomes nicer. And then here, use my feet. Wide and low.